cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar. Cheddar. Cheese. Okay, I can't pronounce it. You know, I've accomplished a few things in my life that have been mildly impressive. But one thing that I've never accomplished and that I never will is correctly pronouncing the words cheddar and cheese. And not just cheddar cheese, but also binary search tree, transaction, drudgery, jiggle. You get the idea. Basically, any word that's got the ch sound or the sh sound, tr, dr, j, basically a third of the words in the English language I can't pronounce. Now, why am I telling you all this? Well, this past weekend, we got a testimonial on Algo Expert, my company. And by the way, if you happen to be new here, if you don't know what Algo Expert is, I have to tell you what it is because it's a key part of this story. Algo Expert is basically an online platform, educational platform that helps software engineers, programmers prepare for technical interviews. And the key point is that a big part of our product is video and audio content that is largely taught by me. And for the longest time, it was only taught by me. Anyway, this past weekend, we got a testimonial from a customer. His name was Soyball, and basically he told us that he had previously failed interviews at a bunch of tech companies. He used our product, and he just passed interviews at Microsoft. Big congrats, by the way, Soyball. I'll put the testimonial on the screen here. But one thing that he said that made me think of all of this is this line. He said, your narration of each and every topic is awesome and very easy to understand. And, you know, I don't want to pat myself on the back, but we've gotten a few other customers who've commended, you know, my teaching style, teaching ability. And so this got me thinking about you know, four and a half years ago when I conceptualized the idea for this company, for Algo Expert, and I basically told a bunch of people about it and pitched the idea to my co-founder, Antoine, and a few people lightly discouraged me from pursuing it, basically saying, you know, Clement, are you sure you want to launch a company whose main product is video and audio content if you're going to be the main speaker because, you know, you can't really correctly pronounce shit? And, you know, it reminded me also of back when I was a kid, I was really into theater and, and singing, and obviously a lot of people back then would kind of discourage me from that, saying, again, like, a lisp, not really, you know, doesn't really go well with that particular field of theater or singing. And yet, as Troy Ball has shown, clearly the lisp hasn't been that much of an issue. And obviously Troy Ball is just one example, we could call him an anecdote, but the market has shown, because right now we're closing in on 100,000 paying customers soon, which is just mind-blowing. So the market has shown that the lisp hasn't been that much of an issue. It hasn't been that much of a detriment to the platform. So the message that I want to impart you with by sharing this story with you is that the next time that somebody tells you that you can't or shouldn't pursue a particular endeavor because something about you doesn't quite fit the norm with that particular endeavor or might inhibit you from pursuing that endeavor, what I would recommend is that you nod and that you prove them wrong. On that note, if you enjoyed this message, then don't hesitate to smash the like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content. Instagram if you like pictures. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, let's try this one last time. Cheddar cheese. No, can't do it. But what I can do is tell you to go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the platform.